Well, that's the bushes done. Um, they're just little spacers. I shall show you in a minute on the engine uh, where they're going. Um, Delving is always very nice to machine. Always gives a nice finish. We don't need any special tools for it or, or whatever. Turn it quite fast and cut it hard and it uh, it comes out really nice. Uh, Delrin, Acetal. Acetal is what it actually is. Delrin is a trade name. Uh, obviously other people make it. Um, but there we are. I'll show you in a second where they go on the engine. So this is the engine that's uh, currently being sorted out. It's a, a different intake manifold and a new fuel rail. And there's been a, a little bit of a clean up going on as well. Um, there's, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but there's something missing from here. Um, so this is an adaption. Uh, it's probably a air conditioner or something. I'm not really sure what it was. Um, but I'm sure those that know the engine will know. But these spacers had to go here because the original manifold um, came up to this height but this aftermarket manifold for some reason doesn't and it didn't come with any spacers so we've machined these spacers to fit in that space there um, just give me a second I'll see if I can pop some on and there we are the two spacers fitted Obviously, I have to leave that to my son to sort out. But they basically take up that space there so that the fuel rail can be mount, pulled down to hold the injectors in. There we go. So, as a sneak preview of the engine. And, uh, yeah, it's looking very tidy. Again. Keep subscribe if you want to uh, see the updates on this engine swap into this 106 Raleigh which is essentially been working on for years thanks for watching